Hi folks, Alan from MindVisionMedia.net again and today I wanted to show you how you can use Firefox and a couple of uh, extensions available to Firefox to edit your WordPress theme. I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm using the responsive theme from Theme ID and uh, that is my WordPress theme and one of the things um, when I first installed the theme uh, I wanted to change was the size of this sub headline right here, this subtitle. It was too big for what I wanted to do, so as you can see, I made it a lot smaller. Again, it came that size, I believe it's H2 size, and I wanted to make it smaller. So I changed it down. And I'm going to show you how I did that using Firefox and a couple of extensions installed into Firefox, along with my uh, text editor. I'm using Notepad++, but you can use Notepad or whatever. So first thing I want to do is show you what extensions you need to install into Firefox. For myself, I've been in the forums. Um, sometimes it can be a little daunting. Um, it sounds like they're speaking Klingon or something. Um, you can't really understand a lot, uh, especially if you're not a coder or someone who's used to editing code. Um, and I particularly come from a HTML, WYSIWYG uh, foundation, PHP, CSS, all this stuff is, you know, still kind of new to me. And um, when I wanted to make simple changes, you know, I didn't have two days to wait for a reply or really didn't feel like going to read some complicated um, forum or text on uh, making a simple change. Um, and this, sometimes it just got pretty frustrating, so I found some other ways and I wanted to share them with you. So once again, I'm using Firefox, um, which is the favorite br browser for developers, people working on websites. You might want to consider that. I go to Tools, Add-ons, Extensions. Here are the three extensions you want to add to Firefox. Fire FTP. Okay, you might already have an FTP program. I have several. I haven't used them since I installed uh, FTP. Fire FTP and I'm using Firefox for my browser. Next you want to get Firebug which is a inspector that is going to help you locate and identify what item it is you want to edit on your page, tell you exactly where it's at and where you need to go make the edit. Really powerful. And I added CodeBurner. Um, which just extends Firebug with reference material for HTML and CSS. Um, so that comes in into play uh, later on. But for now, we're going to be primarily using Firebug as an inspector and Fire FTP. And then in addition, I'm going to use Notepad++ as my final text editor. Okay, so let's get started. Once again, my subtitle was H2, too big. I wanted to make it smaller and I did using these same methods. Now I'm going to reverse the process and make this subtitle bigger so that you can see how I did it. Anywhere on your web page once you are using Firefox and you have um, Firebug installed you can just right click on something and it will tell you exactly what and where it is. So let's give it a try. Here. I want to edit my subtitle. Again, I already made it smaller. I want to make it bigger. I'm going to right click on it. Go down here. Inspect element with Firebug. I'm using Firefox and I installed Firebug extension. Boom! What happens is Firebug opens up. That's what this window is down here. It looks all crazy, confusing. It's in that language we all fear and hate. But don't worry about that. Okay? And what you're seeing on the screen, all the colors and uh, stuff going on, wherever I hover my mouse in Firebug, it highlights that particular item. So if I look here, it's highlighting the main title. Okay, it's highlighting this. Okay, and what does that say? Featured title right there. Now, something's already highlighted. I wonder what that is. Well, that's the item I right clicked on this item right here and I chose inspect with firebug it highlights exactly what you were clicking on 
So right here it's telling me, hey, that's the H2 class featured subtitle. Okay, and there it is. MVM has everything you need. Well, we try. But anyway, if you look to the right in Firebug, it's showing me all the class CSS styles that are assigned to that item that is highlighted. And isn't it cute how it just puts that yellow purple thing around there so you know exactly you're w that you're working on the right thing right there. So that's the beauty of it. It's WYSIWYG. <laughs> what you see is what you get, baby. Alright, so it's telling me right here for the featured subtitle that the font size is 20. Now the power of Firebug allows you to play around. And watch what happens if I change that from 20 to 30. Whoa, got bigger. Hey, what if I change it to 40? It just keeps going. Bigger and bigger. Now it's up to 50. Okay, now keep in mind, that's not where it stopped, folks. <laughs> you know, I wish it was that easy. But Firebug is an inspector, so it's letting me locate, identify, and test. Okay, because if I just click out of that, and I changed it to 50 in the inspector, and I refresh my page, watch, it's going to go back down to 20 where it was. Let's see. And that's because the changes have not been saved on the server. Okay, your hosting uh, server. So here's what we're going to do. Since we've identified it, Firebug helped us locate it, tell us what it is, showed us where it's at in the style and the CSS, and look, it even tells you style CSS reference line number 1642 remember that okay I'm gonna go up to Firefox tools web developer and I'm gonna say hey open up my fire FTP extension okay now you up here it says create an account which you'll probably have to do I'm pretty sure you have to do when you first install it and use it or you can go quick connect either one but it's gonna open up this window and what you need to put in here is your FTP host address okay which is usually just like that little pop-up says FTP dot your site name dot whatever okay so FTP dot mindvision media dot net okay and then of course your login for your host Okay, and then what it's going to do is it's, well, I didn't even notice that. My Favicon shows up in the FTP host. Hmm, interesting. Alrighty, so you'll log into your site, basically. You're inside your host, your server now. You go to your public HTML folder or wherever your site is located. Now, remember I mentioned I'm using the responsive theme, so I'm going to go to WordPress content, and I'm going to go to themes and responsive. Now remember it's the style sheet we're working on okay so I'm gonna go to that style sheet in my responsive theme. Now they highly recommend using a child theme to make all of your edits and it was late in the game once I had already gotten into WordPress and built half my site <laughs> that I found out about child themes. Um, so, you know, new to WordPress, it can be pretty confusing, and I've learned a lot, you know, um, over the time I've been involved with WordPress. I've got two or three WordPress sites now, but in the beginning, oh my god, it was frustrating. Um, so I didn't find out about child themes and get that whole thing understanding down until it was too late. So on this site, I don't worry about it too much because I have a ton of redundancy and copies of everything um, in my site, even content and text. So, um, but it's recommended that you do this on a child theme. But anyway, we identified that it's the style sheet in the responsive theme folder. I'm going to right click on that, and here's where your text editor comes in. I'm using Notepad, but you can assign any program you want to edit your text. You can use Notepad, which you should probably already have on your computer if you're using. Uh, a PC or MacPad or whatever it is for Mac users 
Um, but uh, you go here and browse to your, you know, C drive, program files, and find whichever program it is you want to use. I chose Notepad++ and selected the .exe file, and I assigned it to the programs that I want to use for my text editing. Click Apply, OK, and it is now an option when you right-click. So I right-click, go to Open With, Notepad++. Now here's the magic. Remember it told us line 1642, 20 pixels. I'm going to change that to 30. I'm going to bring it up, okay, so you guys can see how this works. So Notepad++ is opened up. It's line 1642. Well, it's already right there. If it's not, just drag down to whatever line it's telling you to. And right there, featured subtitle, featured subtitle, 20 pixels, font size, 20 pixels, font size. So I'm going to change that to 30 so that I can make my um, subtitle bigger. Remember, I have it really small right now. Okay, so now I'm done making that edit. Here's the beauty. I'm live on the web. I'm inside of Firefox. I'm using Firebug and FireFTP. They're all connected. They're talking to each other. And when I click this Save button, it's done. I didn't have to go to 10 forums, I pull out my translation book and my PHP book and my code book and my magnifying glass and my bloodhound to find out how to change my font on my home page. Okay, so really super nice for me, okay, because I'm not a coder. I hope you are, but I'm not. All right, so now that we made the change on the host in the CSS file, on the host, preferably in your child theme, we need to refresh. And I usually refresh twice. <coughs> um, and this is taking place on the server at your host. So I refresh those files after we save those changes. Okay. Now when I go back to my website, remember it was 20. Okay. I'm going to refresh the page. and boom it's 30 now it's bigger just like that folks I just edited the size of that and I know title sizes like for these widgets and stuff like that is always a problem it's really confusing the way you know the instructions you get sometimes like I said from the forums or trying to read a book or something like that it just you know all I want to do is change the size of the title <laughs> you know so, hey, I hope this is really helping folks out right here. Um, if you have any questions, you can always contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. I'm going to do another tutorial on, on the editing the home page in the responsive theme um, specifically, but um, some of the information will probably help you with your theme.